What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Please excuse my appearance. I'm feeling a little under the weather. I just wanted to do a quick introduction video for today's vlog. As you all know, I've been doing the series of vlogs from other dental schools around the United States on my channel. Uh, today's vlog is going to be from Tanea Williams, a first year dental student at University of Pennsylvania School of Dentistry or School of Dental Medicine, sorry. And um, yeah, follow Tanea along her day uh, at UPenn. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like the video. Thanks. Let's get to the vlog. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tanea Williams, and I'm a current D1 student at the University of Pennsylvania School of Dental Medicine. And today, you guys are going to be following me on my day in the life as a D1 student. A few things about myself to start is that I'm from New York City, and I went to college at University of Hartford um, in Hartford, Connecticut. I graduated in 2019 with a BS in biology and a minor in psychology. Um, after graduation, I did a summer enrichment program at UCLA's dental school. And then from there on out, I worked as a dental assistant for oral surgeon for two years before applying to dental school. Um, I'm a current student at UPenn, like I mentioned before, and I'm really excited to go here. It was actually the last school that I got accepted to um, during my application cycle, but I was so impressed like during my interview process. I just knew like this was the best school for me given like my future goals and everything. Um, so yeah, let's get ready for my day and let's go. All right, I'm gonna talk to y'all as I pack my lunch. So today for lunch, we're gonna have some, um, what did I make? I made some fettuccine alfredo last night. So I meal prep because I don't really have a lot of time during the week to cook. So on Sunday nights, I'll cook like a lot of food and then I'll like package it in bowls in my fridge so that during the week I could just grab it, boom, lunch, grab it boom dinner i don't have to worry about standing over a stove when i'm stressing about studying so that works for me so last night i cooked some fettuccine alfredo with some spinach and mushrooms we're also gonna have some chopped strawberries and some tangerines well. we gotta get our vitamin c so we don't get scurvy guys and yeah so today is supposed to be like a pretty calm day um I have three classes today. My first class is perio, so we're gonna be learning about the periodontia. Ooh, come through, like, let's go. So my first class today is perio, so we're gonna be learning about the periodontia. Um, they give pop quizzes in this class, so you know I'm about to be there bright and early for my quiz point. Per um, my second class is FS4, where we learn about like microbial diseases, infection, infection control all that good stuff. And then my third class today is in BS3. So we're going to be learning about neurocytology. So this is our class about like anatomy. So first we started learning about the muscles, then it was the vasculature. Now we're doing neuroanatomy, just to like bring it all together. Um, so yeah, I only have three classes today, but I'm going to be at school all day. I'm going to study there and then I'll show you guys like different parts of my school. All right. So I just wanted to explain a few things about my schedule before I head out. So at UPenn, you have three different options on like how you want to live your best life when watching your lectures or whatever. So the first option is to like go to class live, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to be live in the lecture hall, taking in the aroma. Um, your second option is to watch it on the live stream. So our classes are live stream. So for the people that are at home today, let's say they're sick, they're not feeling it, um, they're out of town, whatever, they could literally pull out their phone or their laptop and watch class at the same time that I'm going to be watching class today. And then the third option is just to watch the recording. So the recording is basically the live stream, but you could just access it later. Um, and you could just watch it on your own time. You could speed it up, pause it, slow it down, whatever you got to do to make sure you get all the good points. Um, so yeah, one of my classes today, my second class, is actually a virtual class. So I'm going to be on Zoom with my professor and my classmates going through the lecture, which is cool with me. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. So right now, I'm like across the street from my school. And the area, there's like a lot of food stuff. So over here is a Panera, which is like my all-time favorite. They'll always get my money. 
and then there's also like a bunch of little shops and stuff over here so like this is a library this i'm not sure it was in the front of the building but the back of this building ahead of us is like a dorm for the undergrad students this is like a pizza place slash like bar they have like ben and jerry's over here like a nail salon post office all that so there's like a lot of things you could do around here especially like a lot of food i think they realize that dental students don't really have a lot of time to cook so they capitalize on that and they put like a bunch of food places so that we can just spend our money yeah so this is our major one of our major lecture halls where we have class i actually sit in the front row so we're gonna sit all right here all right guys so i just finished my first class in perio and now my second class is virtual is being held on zoom so right now i'm in a study room inside the dental school so our school has a bunch of these different study rooms that you could reserve online through like a little form and you can just sit in room alone or you could like have like a group study in here because it's big enough to hold like five or six people um one really cool thing about these rooms is that all the walls and the windows of the room are actually dry erase so you can literally like write all over the walls which is really useful for when you have classes that are heavy on like a bunch of like pathways and things like that you could draw it out this was really useful for me last semester where i took um this class called fs1 where our last module of that class was on like metabolism so like glycolysis and all these crazy pathways that you have to like draw out it was way easier for me to draw it out on the wall instead of like on paper or on my ipad so i like to come here to study when i'm at school because it's kind of peaceful it's quiet and it gives me like a change of scenery from like studying in my apartment all the time so yeah i'm about to enjoy this class we're actually learning about rna viruses so like coronavirus um all the molecular mechanisms how it spreads what it looks like all that great stuff so i'll check in with you guys afterwards during the lunch period all right everyone so now it's lunch time so i just came over here into this area where i can microwave my food in this area we also have like vending machines and a fridge where we could like buy stuff if you didn't bring lunch or snacks in between classes so once i heat up my food i'm gonna go back to my study room and then i'm going to just do some light review between now and my 1 p.m class guys so now it's like three o'clock and i finished my last lecture of the day so i don't have any more lectures that i have to attend or watch um, what i like to do after i finish lectures for whatever day i just do like a soft review of the things that i learned that day so i'll just like reread my lectures go through them again and if anything's unclear i can rewatch the recording or email my professor for clarity and verification um but since it's exam week i'm probably not gonna do that today i'm just going to review some stuff for my upcoming exams on Friday and probably just do some Anki cards just to like reinforce all the things that I've been reviewing periodically since I started learning the material on my exams. So I know that everybody has their own preference and how they choose to go about reviewing their lectures each day to make sure they stay on top of things in dental school. Um, some people like to rewrite their notes, some people reread their slides a bunch of times, some people use Quizlet. But I'm one of those people that really like to use Anki and I have a lot of my classmates that do as well. So one thing that we came up with was we have a sign up sheet where we have like a list of all the lectures and two people sign up per day to make the Anki decks for whatever lecture. So on the bottom we have it like separated based on like the class and then once you click on that page it's like separated by lectures. So you'll see like who signed up for the day and then you'll they'll hyperlink their Anki deck so that you can just go in there and download it and use that to study instead of having to make your own deck every day for every single class. Um, for anyone out there that use Anki, you know that it takes a really long time to make one good deck. So instead of taking so much time making the Anki decks, we kind of just share the responsibility so that 
we have more time to study and we can all like do well in our exams so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys all right guys so i'm all done studying in the study room for the day i'm about to head out and back to my apartment instead of walking right now i'm gonna take the pen shuttle so my school has these shuttles you can order where they'll pick you up from the dental school and then drop you off at your apartment so you can avoid walking back to your apartment late at night when it's dark so we're about to use that and go home all right so here's the shuttle we're about to get in here and i should be home within like 10 minutes or so all right guys we are back at home it feels great to be back um so i just changed my clothes from what i had on at school and i just put on like a shirt sports bra my sweats and my sneakers we're about to do like a quick little workout um i do home workouts because i don't really like going to the gym during covid so i'll like stretch do my cardio everything right in my living room so you know i got my youtube over here which is where i get my workouts from so i'm about to do that before starting to study for the rest of the night All right, guys, so my day is basically over now. So after I did my workout, I took a shower, I sat on my couch, and I reviewed some lectures. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I have two exams on Friday. So what I did was I reviewed two lectures from each class that's going to be on my exam, um, which is my method during the week of an exam. I just kind of like to do that. Um, I did some Anki cards. I drew out some concept maps just to like iron out some details that I was like kind of lacking on. And now I'm just kind of tired. I'm ready to relax. So what I'm going to do now is just watch some Netflix. I'll find something, maybe like an hour of Netflix, and then go to bed so I can be up and ready to move at 6.30 tomorrow morning. I just wanted to highlight some of the reasons that I chose UPenn as my school of choice. So I had already paid my deposit at another dental school before I was offered an interview at UPenn. But I was so impressed at my interview that I just couldn't not consider them. So at that time, it was very hard for me, but I decided to make a pro con list to try and set these schools apart. And obviously, both these schools were amazing schools. But with making that pro con list, I was able to see like UPenn was a better school for me long term and short term. Um, it's close to my family. As I mentioned earlier, I'm from New York City, so... UPenn is only an hour and 15 minutes away from New York City if you take the train and about two hours if you drive. So I'm easily accessible and, you know, my family needs me. I can easily go when I need them. They can easily come. Um, my scholarship offer at this school is also like a pretty big factor because dental school is really expensive and this just made it way more affordable for me. Um, I also don't really mind the cost of living here like it's pretty affordable compared to where I'm from and like other cities across the country so I feel like I'm winning in that department and I know I knew that I wanted a school that was immersed within the city which is exactly what UPenn is I think it's so beautiful like the way our campus is like put together um I also as you already know like UPenn has a really good reputation like obviously it's an Ivy League but aside from that um, the students here are pretty happy and we're like one of the leading schools for research funding so there's just a lot of opportunities here that i feel i wouldn't have had had i went to another school so i'm still settling into the school and like trying out all these new things meeting new people joining new clubs just so i can like take advantage of like all the things that are here so those are just some of the reasons why i chose upenn and i'm very confident in that decision I wanted to thank you guys for following me on my journey. This was really fun to film, and I really hope that it helps somebody out there, whether you're trying to decide on UPenn or just like trying to see what life is like as a dental student. I hope that this fulfills what you were looking for, and I'm just really excited. Thank you to Eli for choosing me to film this video for his channel, and if you haven't done so already, like this video, comment, and subscribe to his channel. Bye, guys.